Hey guys, hey chosen generation, hey beautiful people of the most high God. How are you guys doing on this Tuesday evening? It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday evening, guys. It is Tuesday. It has been a very great day. I tell you, it's not been very, very busy today for me um, because I had half a day, <laughs> half a day at work. So it's been very, very good for me today. I, I, I haven't been busy at all. Um, I did some stuff earlier this morning, but I was able to really get an, uh, other things done other than just work, 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 you know. But I hope you guys had a wonderful day. I hope all is well with you. I hope you are feeling great and in your family and you're enjoying getting set up for the holidays. If you are, if not, praise God. It's okay. It's okay. Whatever way you're going to celebrate, if it's in your heart, whatever. It's okay. Amen. It's not about the bells and whistles and this and that and the material. It's about who? Jesus. I want to say welcome. Welcome to all of my beautiful subscribers. I love you guys so much. Let me give you a hug. Mm -hmm. That's a hug for me to you. Welcome guys. Welcome. I love you guys. Also, I want to say if it is your first time here, welcome. My name is Nee, and on this channel, I give you whatever the Holy Spirit gives me, a word of encouragement, a prophetic word, a scripture, whatever he gives me, I give it to you. So welcome. And if that is the type of content that you enjoy, hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you as a part of the chosen generation family of the Most High God. Guys, I tell you, the Holy Spirit has really been dealing with me about always being available and I always put that on the, the community page about being available. And I tell you the truth, it's really coming to pass even more and more in my life. I notice that every single time I turn around, like in the last few weeks or so, I notice that the Holy Spirit is allowing opportunities on, on top of opportunities for him to show himself big in me. Um, and I, that, that's why I said we always have to be truly available to the Holy Spirit, um, no matter where we are, no matter what we're doing, you know, um, and it's a perfect example, uh, today I was, you know, on my, you know, doing some, on my way to work, doing some things. And before I know it, I had small talk with a gentleman, um, small talk, you know, hi, how are you doing? You know, yada, yada, yada. You know, holiday, you know, the holiday's coming up. He said his birthday was coming up. And before you know it, um, you know, of course, I'm in the mindset, okay, I'm working, getting get some things done. And before you know it, he began to pour out to me about he was left as a child uh, outside in the cold in the winter by his mother. And um, he caught me off guard with that because... We were, we were doing small talk and all of a sudden he felt the opportunity or he felt uh, comfortable enough with me to begin to express himself about his childhood, how he was left by his mother and raised by his grandmother um, that lived to see 99 years old, 99 years. And um, he began to say how he was so hurt about it. And... Um, as I'm listening, I'm like, okay, Holy Spirit, you know, at first I was like, okay, I'm, I'm kind of busy, but the Holy Spirit was like, stop and listen. And so that's what I did. I stopped, I listened, and I allowed, I allowed him to express himself about what he's been through. And, you know, I also allowed him to just express himself, you know, how he sounded, you know, he was saying how angry he was about how he didn't understand, you know, how... You know, his mother could do that to him, leave him out in the cold and, you know, thank God for his grandmother that came and got him and, you know, took him in and raised him. And I began to think about my own grandmother after that, when I left the, the scene, I said, you know, I was thinking about how special grandmothers are and how, thank God for grandmothers that have touched so many people's lives, you know, so many people, um, as children would have been left on the side of the road. But thank God for the grandmothers that have stepped in and raised them and taught them the ways of God and taught them, you know, the do's and don'ts of life and has just been that support system that the children need, 
you know, growing up, you know, otherwise they would have been left in the system or what have you. And um, I began to just encourage him. I prayed with him. I said, you know, I told him about the Lord and, you know, um, but in the beginning part, the Holy Spirit just told me to be quiet and just allow him to just express himself because he needed to let that out. He needed to talk about it. And sometimes we just need to know when to speak and when not to speak. And when the Holy Spirit um, is also giving us direction to just, you know, you know, let the person speak and let them continue on and express herself because a lot of times it's things that they want to get out and they feel comfortable enough and they feel the presence of God that's coming from you that they can go forth and say whatever they want to say. So that was a really, really like, wow, a wow moment. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You know, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I feel honored, you know, nothing of my own. I feel so honored. And a few weeks ago, another situation, um, I was doing some like visiting and I spoke to a guy and he was telling me about his daughter and how his daughter had had uh, an aneurysm at work and she fell out or what have you. And, you know, he said she was always had, she always had a lot of friends and, you know, um, people that always rallied, you know, when she could have things together, she would always have people over and just always the life of, of every party, you know. And he was saying she was always really like a, a, a good person. And when that happened, he said, um, all you could hear was crickets, you know. Um, so he asked me to meet her. I met her and I had prayer with her. And um, I, I'm still believing God for a miracle, you know. I noticed that when I went back, I did go back and see her one more time after that. I met, met her the first time, prayed with her. He asked me to pray with her. I prayed with her. And um, she was out of it. The next time I went, and I was so amazed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, she was lifting her head. She was looking at me. And I could not, I, it was looked like a different person altogether. I kid you not. It looked like a different person altogether. You know, the way her face was, just the way she was, you know, when I talked to her, she had eye contact and she was, you know, let me know that she understood you know, what I was saying because she had something had her, uh, one of those, I forget what you call it, in her throat, a uh, trach or what have you. But just to say that, you know, God, you know, can do anything, you know, God can do anything. And, and, you know, to bring back the part about her father, let me know that she was the life of the party. He was saying how no one has come to see her. You know, those people that, you know, she used to always be there for. No one's been there to see her, he said. All you hear is crickets. And you know, that's how people are. You know, you, you, you think these people are so, you know, this is my friend, this is my friend. They come over all the time. We, you know, we're always together. We do this, we do that together. But at the end of the day, when you fall ill, you get, you're sick. No one to come around to see you. No one to come around but your fa your father. He said, this is my only daughter. Your father's the only one that comes and see you. And guess what? All you hear is crickets from those people that always was like, yeah, you know, I want to be around you. I, li I love you. Da -da -da -da. You know, I love you, love you, love you. So I just encouraged him to don't give up on continuously believing God. We're going to stand in the gap for her. I've seen a change in her that quickly from that one prayer. I'm telling you. Prayer changes things. Just like God can heal a headache, God can take you take away flu symptoms, God can take away uh, whatever you're dealing with, coughs, you know, from whatever cigarette, whatever, whatever you're dealing with in your body, you know, um, even leukemia, whatever leukemia, God can heal it. Just like He heals headaches, things that we look so you know minor. So I just encourage him and let him know that I know that God is a healer. And he said he believes as well, you know. So we, we begin to touch and agree together. And I said, here is another available moment. God is saying, you know, it doesn't matter if you're busy or not. You know, I stopped what I was doing and I went and prayed. 
you know, and sometimes, you know, way in the past, you know, you know, the enemy would say, well, you're not, who, who are you? I'm God's child. And I walk in the authority and the power of God that's on the inside of me. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. We have the power and you have the power as well. Hallelujah. We have power in the name of Jesus. We have power through his word. So we can pray and we can lay hands on the sick, the Bible tells us, and they shall recover. He didn't say, I think they may recover. He said, they shall recover. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth is loosed in heaven. And hallelujah, we can lay hands on the sick. Hallelujah. It says, call for the ministers. Call for the elders. What have you. We can call. They can, people can call for us. Hallelujah. Sometimes they, they need an extra uh, agreement, a hand of uh, enough someone to agree with them in whatever they're going through. And that's okay. That's okay. But God is saying, be available. He told me to come on and encourage my people to always be looking, watching, waiting for opportunities to be available. You know, um, I would say with that, the one, the, the, the guy with his daughter, I was... Not really expecting that one either, as well as the guy that was telling me about how he was left outside. But I know that God is showing me more and more that opportunities are going to arise in our lives, not just mine, but yours too, if you're chosen by God, where you're going to have to be available to speak to people that are hurting, people that are suffering, people that just want to vent, people that just want to know that there is hope. There is hope. And that hope is coming through us. As we speak what God has given us to say to them, it's going to encourage them. It's going to lift them up. Amen. So God is just wanting me to come on and just encourage you guys to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might and make sure that you keep on the whole armor of God at all times, that we can fight against the wilds of the devil, as well as stay steadfast and unmovable. Because we are living in the last days. God is moving by his spirit. I am so happy and so grateful to know that we serve a great and mighty God. Hallelujah. That's moving behind the scenes for his people. Amen. Let me have a word of prayer with you. Father, I thank you for each one of the chosen generation, family of the most high God. I ask you to strengthen each and every one under the sound of my voice. Encourage their heart. Help us to always be available Hallelujah, to be used by you. No matter what the situation is, give us, oh God, the uh, the know-how of how to go forth and the boldness not to be timid, not to be fearful, but to go forth in you. You have given us power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us. And we thank you, Father, for doing it right now. In Jesus' name, encourage each one under the sound of my voice, no matter what they're going through, that you are bringing them out. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. I love you guys. I truly do. Be encouraged. Know that God is with you. He's working behind the scenes for you. You are a chosen generation a royal priesthood. Be sure to like this video, and I will talk to you real soon. God bless you. I'll talk to you real soon.